Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how you can create your own multilingual bot without any hassle. So a lot of people I've seen creating a lot of hype on how to achieve this and do not share the actual way, right? They share the bot platform and they share uh, the results, but it is actually so incredible easy to do. And in this video, I just want to show you how you can do that yourself with using basically any kind of chatbot platform, either using the native integration or the chat completion itself. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I already set up a really basic flow here. So we have a start introduction, which is a question, and then we are going to generate the AI response with a chat completion from OpenAI, and then send the AI reply. Now, without any modifications, 90% of the time, the AI reply will be based on the user's language already. So although the question states, how can I help you today? If I am going to reply in Dutch, then most likely I will already get a reply back in Dutch most times. But to ensure this happens, you only need to customize one thing inside of your chat completion. And that is so incredibly simple. So if we're going to take a look inside, right? So we have a question, how can I help you today? Then we are going with a chat completion. And if you're using UChat, you can either do that by an advanced action external request and set up your own uh, API endpoint to do the chat completion, or you can just go with add item integrations go with the native uh, the native action inside of UChat itself, or just use my uh, AI Mastery app, which has that included as well. There are a few more optimizations inside the AI Mastery app itself, like the um, chat history balancing and optimization of that. So you can save more of a history inside of the save custom field. But for today's video, let's just use the create chat completion. So if we're going to take a look inside, uh, we have the action create chat completion. I have some basic information about my membership, so the chatbot marketing accelerator. And as you can see here, uh, some basic introduction. So this is the persona, right? And then we have the role that the persona needs to maintain. Then we have the business information. So this all is my membership information all the way up to here. So not too much for this example. And then we have some guidelines for, for responses, as you can see here. So these are my guidelines at the moment. So add fitting emoji, reply in first person, tone of voice needs to be friendly and conversational. Um, give links always in HTTPS format, because otherwise it's going to embed that or try to embed that inside of a, a specific uh, HTML code. Uh, if a user seems interested in the membership that mentioned, they can claim a $500 disc uh, dollar discount by going towards this specific link. Uh, do not greet the user on every single reply. So this needs to be in every reply. Uh, only do so when the user reaches out with a greeting. Otherwise, assume this is already done and we are continuing the conversation. If they like to contact me directly, they can do so by sending an email to my contact details or just sending me a PM in Messenger. Keep your replies under 10 sentences to keep it as short as possible. Um, have sufficient line breaks on each of your replies. You are allowed to reply to questions about the membership or myself. You are not allowed to help people write code of any kind or help them with any content other than the CMA membership. So these are the guidelines as we have them right now. I'm going to add one more guideline and voila, that will be the magic of a multilingual chatbot. So if we're going to just add another guideline and just say reply back in the same language as the user's reply. That's it. Nothing more to it to create a multilingual chatbot. And we will go and test this um, in just a few moments, but this single line inside the system message, inside the response guidelines, will help you create the multilingual chatbots. If we go over the other settings, then we have the messages lost text input, which is a system field inside of UChat that always captures the last typed message of the user. And this is just an example. Then we have the remember history set to yes. And then we have the model uh, GPT-4-1106 preview, which is the latest model up to this date uh, until the time of this recording. Then the functions I'm not going to use. Max tokens I really set to maximum, so 4096. It's not really needed with this small of a system message. I just use it as such. Um, the temperature for me, this, the sweet spot is really 0 0.4. So you will need to experiment for yourself. But for me, the 0 0.4 value allows me to let the model that I'm using, so in this case, the GPT-4-1106 preview, to uphold the instructions that I put inside the system message better. So for me, that completely works. The rest, I'm just basically setting to default. And as you can see, um, frequency penalty is zero, stop sequences, number of completions is one. And then the response format is just text. 
I'm going to map the specific reply, the newest reply of the GPT model. And if we're going to say test request, so it's now going to answer the question, hi, what can you tell me about the membership? Right. So if we're going to take a look, it takes about 10 seconds with this kind of information. And but if we're going to take a look at the sample data, you need to always map a specific specific JSON path. So as you can see here, we have the choices section. Then we have the messages. And the thing that we need to map is the content section, as you can see here. This will always be the latest reply that the model gives you. A lot of people go under the messages on our, this section and then just go all the way at the bottom and then just go with the content of the role of the assistant. But as you can see, this is the second message, right? So basically the third message because we started zero. So this will always be a static message and it will always reply with the exact same answer. So it's therefore really, really important that you go on the choices, then message and then map the content section. This will always be the latest reply of this specific model. So if we are going to test this, I already mapped it under the custom field AI response. Then you will see that we go towards this specific section. And then any new question that I ask will basically result in looping between these two nodes as of that moment in time. So let's try this out, right? Let's say preview. Let's go preview and pop up. So let's just see what we can grab. So how can I help you today? Let's say, um, what uh, does the CMA stand for? So CMA is short for Chatbot Marketing Accelerator. So I'm just looking to see if the GPT model understands that and comes back with a reply in English. So it takes a few seconds, but as you can see, Chatbot stands for Chatbot Marketing Accelerator. It is a membership program I created to help people leverage the power of conversational marketing. Okay, so let's ask a new question. And this time I'm going to do it in Dutch, actually. So let's say, app je ook templates for ManyChat, right? So this uh, basically states in English, do you also have templates for ManyChat? So if all goes well, it should return the answer, the reply also in Dutch as well. So it should uphold that current limitation, as you can see. Uh, Currently, on, uh, currently at this moment in time, the premium chatbot templates that I offer uh, within the chatbot marketing accelerator are namely uh, focused on the UChat platform. And then we get some examples about UChat itself, why I chose that. And then it just comes with a specific answer. If you are interested in ManyChat templates, then just try to reach out inside the ManyChat community, right? Or uh, some kind of marketplace. And then we also have a specific section that is a call to action to grab the $500 discount within this specific link. So as you can see, it just switches instantly from English towards Dutch. So let's try one more language. And for this one, I'm actually going to go to Google Translate because I do not know how to write this. So let's just do something in French, for example. So let's go towards Google Translate and let's say, uh, Let's go with French translation. There we go. Uh, can you tell me more about Mark? So let's just grab this one, right? And let's ask that question. So again, if everything is being uphold properly inside the guidelines for the, uh, for the system messages, we should now get a reply back inside of French. So let's see if that works. So as you can see, instantly we got a multilingual chatbot that goes from English to Dutch and now also French. So for the French subscribers, for the people that are watching these kinds of videos, uh, you will be the you can be the judge if this is a good quality kind of French. I do not understand it. So to me, it seems to be perfect, right? <laughs> but this is something that you can do with just adding one line inside the system message. So by just going towards the chat completion system messages just state reply back in the same language as the user's reply and boom you have your multilingual chatbot you don't have to translate everything you don't have to do anything else and this is just to get your chatbot up and running really really quickly now this is just using a chat completion right to uh, reply back towards a user's question but how do you translate your uh, chatbot basically inside of a multilingual setup now the way you can do that is pretty similar. And let's say we have this message, right? So let's say, uh, welcome to the chatbot marketing accelerator. 
um, what can I do for you today? Right? So what we can do, instead of having this section, normally what you would do is, inside of UChat at least, we go towards the tool section, multiple languages, then we go and translate all of the notes, as you can see here, how can you help, a select AI response, and then we have a select button here as well. This is not really useful, right? And um, so what you can do instead of this, we just go with a chat completion. Again, we're going to go with integrations, open AI, edit action, then go with a create chat completion. And then in the system message, the only thing that you mention is translate the below message into, and then we're going to output the language. Most platforms, most channels like Messenger, like um, for example, uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, have the user's profile data, including the language that they use. And this is also being saved inside the system language inside of UChat. Now, for certain channels like WebChat or Telegram, you might need to capture the user's phone number and based on the user's land code, you can determine the language that way. So that is a little bit of a specific setup that you need to do. But let's assume that you have captured the user's language and it's saved inside the language system field. Right? So the only thing that we are going to do here, let's translate the below message into this language. So let's say Dutch, for example. So what we are going to do, we are going to grab the information inside of this text note. We're going and basically add that directly here. So translate the below message into, for example, Dutch, right? So we can give some sample data so we can see how it looks like before actually previewing it. So let's say this will be Dutch. There we go. And then in the messages, we are just going to give a call to action towards ChatGPT in order to let them understand what they need to do. So let's say only output the translated message. That's all you need to do. So let's also go with the model again. So let's say GPT-4-1106 preview, right? The tokens can even be set to 100. Temperature, sweet spot for me is 0 0.4. And let's try this out. So let's see if it translates properly. So here we have welcome to the Chapel Marketing Accelerator. It translates to Chapel Marketing Accelerator as well. So if you do not want to do that, right, uh, you can also add an additional guideline. So let's say uh, do not translate the word uh, and let's say chatbot Marketing Accelerator. So if we do that right now, so also let's add this command towards the example data. So let's add that here. If we do it right now, it should not translate the Chatbot Marketing Accelerator, but it does do all the other translations. So welcome by the Chatbot Marketing Accelerator. What can I vandaag voor u doen? And that translates the exact same message as what we have here. We're just going to output this. There we go. Let's say AI response. There we have it, going to add it, save towards the response, and this is going to be the text message. So the text message here has been transferred towards the chat completion, where we translated it into the user's language, and then from here, we are going to output generated AI reply, right? So this is how you can do that really, really easily. So with just these two notes, you can translate this welcome message into any language possible. So that could be Dutch, could be French, could be, um, that could also be German, could be Hungarian, you name it, and this single note will translate it directly for you. Nothing to it, really simple as you can see, and this will allow you to create a completely multilingual chatbot within just a really simple chat completion as you can see here. So two setups, you can reply towards the user in this kind of format into any specific language, and as you saw in the previews, we can switch from English to Dutch to French without any difficulty. And if you want to translate your entire chatbot into a multilingual chatbot without needing to translate every specific note in all the languages, you can just use a chat completion, then paste in the message that you have normally put inside the text note, put it inside the chat completion, let it translate, and then output the translation directly here. I really hope that this video helps you in understanding how easy it is to set up a multilingual chatbot, not only by replying in multiple languages, but also making your chatbot itself, the content inside the chatbot, multilingual as well. If you have any questions, do let me know, and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. For now, have a great day, take care, and talk soon.